Welcome back to Snark and Spark. My name is Emily, and today I have a cross stitch life, just a regular floss tube. I'm trying to get back into the habit of just doing like a regular floss tube, and it's kind of nice. Um, so, do 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 do. What did I work on last week? I just like I'm liking. I am I am really really enjoying my stitchy planner, the one I got from Plum Paper. Sammy, I'm telling you, look into it. Get it. I will be the worst, like, devil on your shoulder because I am loving it. It is helping me out so much. It is keeping me accountable. I love the quad layout with it being just blocks. Um, I'm actually using it. I am writing in it. It is. I can see exactly what I did for the day. And it's keeping me on track. And I'm really, really enjoying that. Especially because this week has been... Not this week, this month I feel like has been hectic. I've had a lot, like really high stitch counts um, for certain games that I'm in um, or different groups that I'm in. You know, there have been like, I've been getting like a thousand stitch counts and it's really nice to keep track of it in there and I can write down how many stitches I did, especially because I will switch projects. So it's like, you know, I put 500 stitches into letters from Hogwarts and I still need. 500 more kind of thing um like one in particular i had almost 2,000 stitches that i needed to get done and it was like uh <laughs> brain <laughs> kind of thing so anyways doo -doo 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 -doo. it's been great i like looking at my month as well and i don't know it's just working it's working for me and i highly recommend the plum paper plus with it being customizable you know, you can just fully customize it to your needs, and I really, really enjoy that as well. So, and I just think, um, you know, as stitchers, we will use planners or we will modify existing planners to make it work for us, and sometimes we have to add in a bunch of stuff, and it just gets overcrowded. <laughs> Anyways, rant about plum paper over rant encouragement i don't know what you want to call it anyways sorry you're gonna see i'm trying to like move around i am really red um because it is ridiculously hot here we are currently actually in a heat advisory for like in a weather advisory for unseasonably hot weather like it is almost fall <laughs> and we are almost 100 degrees here in iowa and that's not normal for this time of year. So it's really hot. I'm really sweaty. <laughs> I was just outside picking Caden up from school and walking around. So it's, I'm trying to cool off, but it is, it is toasty outside. So, and I turn into a tomato for whatever reason when I go outside in the sun and <laughs> <in> the heat. <laughs> but anyways, what did I work on this week? Um, first off, letters from Hogwarts. This has been my, you know, daily 30 piece. I have not been doing a daily 100. I've just been doing a daily 30 minutes on it. And that has been working out really, really well um, for me, especially since I have those other goals I want to hit. And I find that as much as I want to stitch, I am not a fast stitcher. Like, as much as I want large, like, stitch counts, I'm not a fast stitcher. So it takes me longer to do a shorter amount of stitches. Um, and it's just not feasible for me um, with having... Um, yes, I work part-time, but, you know, I still have a job. And when I'm not at work, I you know, I do come home and I've got two dogs and a cat and a kid who is busy and has a lot of sports practices and a husband that I have to help take care of who does work a full-time job and long hours. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff outside of, outside of like my downtime. And I just, I'm kind of rambling and this should probably go at the end with like my life update kind of stuff, but I'm just realizing I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to stitch and like stitch these large quantities like daily and it's just not feasible for me and 
I was feeling like frustrated and then I was feeling really upset with myself and almost guilty and like this is a hobby. <laughs> this is what I do to not be stressed. <laughs> you know, this helps with my anxiety and um, anxiety and depression and with just my my brain, okay? So like this is supposed to be an outlet for me, you know? A calming creative outlet. And if I'm putting too much pressure on myself, it takes away from that and then I don't want to stitch anymore. And I had to just take a step back and like give myself that breathing room and go, okay, what is feasible for us? You know, what's feasible for me? Because I can't just do hundreds of stitches. I wish I could. I really do. I am so jealous of the people that are fast stitchers <laughs> like I wish um, but that's okay um, because everyone is different and like I said this is supposed to be a, ho a hobby I was gonna say a holiday a hobby that is for enjoyment and relaxation and so like I had to take a step back and I'm okay with that that being because like that being said you know I I worked I've worked a lot on this and it is really satisfying those 30 minutes sometimes I can get a lot done in 30 minutes other days like the other day I had 30 minutes and I did maybe 60 stitches and that's I had to be okay with that because it's still something you know the 60 is better than zero and being honest and like actually looking at it objectively was like you know I was doing it was like this section up in here is where I only got 60 stitches in and I'm going, I had to do a lot of counting. It was a lot of half stitches in one direction because I wanted to hit the outer edge um, and then coming back. And that takes the time, you know? And it's it was a lot of counting and a lot of double counting and recounting. And I have to be okay with that. And I am. Like, once I actually kind of took a step back and went, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It's been great. But this is what I worked on this week with this piece. I'm really excited we this is like a fireplace and we are now down into the Patronus itself which is a house cat so I'm excited it's looking really really good um, it has not yet had its 30 stitches today but that's okay so always working on that I'm up to like 21,000 stitches which is crazy to me on this piece and then what else did I work on I worked on, I had a new start. I'm really excited. I finally got the patterns printed um, for the frame at least. And I think I misspoke. I said I was incorrect. Okay, so I am doing the Cabinet of Curiosities. Um, this is the Halloween October sale from Stitch On Me this year. Or, yes, Stitch On Me from Alyssa. And, sorry, my phone buzzed. This is where I got to. So, I'm really pleased. And this is one of the things where I was putting so much pressure on myself. Because I think I did a total of 575 stitches on this for the week. And I know, like, some people can do that in just a couple days. You know, that this took me from Wednesday on to do this amount. And I'm okay with that. You know, I did a couple hundred each day. Um, and I'm really proud of this though. Like this is just the frame. This is the fabric, the called for fabric that I got in the kit. It's this like chocolatey brown. I feel like my camera, this lighting is actually picking the color up really well. This is true to true, true life. It is this brown color cause it is a cabinet. And yes, it is crooked in my Q-snap. <laughs> I had to take it out of the Q-snap and move it to get to this top part because I'm almost at the top of the frame. <laughs> and then when I put it back in the Q-snap, it got crooked. <laughs> it was straight. <laughs> and then I moved it. Um, and this needle minder is also part of the salve that came in the kit I bought. And it's like a little whip potion. I think it's really cute. Um, but I do need to email them because if I can get it to... Um, it's not attached. <laughs> it came like this. 
Um, so I have the two magnets, front and back, but the magnet was not attached to the actual charm. And I'm assuming that that's an error. I'm assuming that this it's supposed to be glued on, because I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, because I do have some of her other needle minders, and it is definitely not like this. Um, and so I do want to um, email her and just let her know that that happened. I'm, I don't like I don't want anything out of it, but like hopefully this was just like a one-off error kind of thing, and not like a whole batch of them weren't glued or attached. And so I just I want her to know <laughs> to like check. Um, her other supplies and honestly I'm not sure that I want to glue it on hear me out because I kind of like that I can take the charm off and have the charm like exist as its own thing um, and in a sense have like interchangeable needle minders and then because I, I do make some of my own and I do have some things that I want to make into a needle minders but I hadn't attached magnets yet because I didn't have enough magnets. And this like gave me a brilliant idea of like, but if it's not attached, you can just like swap them out. Does that make sense? Maybe that's insane and maybe that's just my cuckoo brain, but like I kind of want to give that a shot of like some of the stuff that I, I've set aside to use as a needle minder that I just haven't because I didn't have enough actual magnets. Now I'm just repeating myself, but yeah, so this is where I am. This is the frame. This is the middle of the frame. So I have moved up and I have, if I believe my pattern, this is the top, this is the top row of boxes. And then there's like a thinner row of stuff like up at the top. Um, so yeah, that's really exciting. This is where this is. And I think I had misspoken about when it was being released because I thought it was being the patterns were being released in October. They are being released now. Um, so the frame dropped September 10th. The very first pattern dropped on Friday, September. Was it Friday? Saturday. So the frame dropped Saturday, September 10th, and then the first pattern for the first square dropped on Saturday, the 17th. And then a pattern has dropped a day since then. So today is day four. Yeah. Today is day four. And I could tell you what the patterns are, but I, I don't really want to because I kind of want it to be like a surprise and I'll show you as I work on them. But I'm um, sorry, my phone is buzzing. Anyways, so I'm a little behind. I want to stay up with it this year. I would love for it to be finished this year. I don't want to take another stitch on me sal into the next year, but um, I lost my turn of thought completely right then and there. It's so hot. I cannot think. Drink break. Yes, I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. I have water here too. It's fine. I'm being healthy. Um, okay. So that's what I worked on that week. Just those two projects. I worked on that and I worked on that. The goal this week is to work on a storybook Halloween. This was the 2021 Stichonomy Halloween Sal. So obviously behind. This is also the called for fabric. And this, okay, see like here's the example. This is the needle minder that came as the kit for this. And like, it's attached. This is fully attached. So, I don't know, um, like I said, if it, if it was just a mishap, if there was a mistake, or if this is the new style. But, um, so yeah, I, I know that that's not normal because I have. <laughs> I have what it's supposed to be. All right, so this is what I'm working on this week. I actually have not touched it yet this week, and um, I don't know if you recall. So this is my last category for this month. This is my medium 
Um, I used my new start for Stitcher's Choice. This is my medium piece. Um, so I need 300 stitches on this for my categories. And then it was also my whip go numbers for this um, for this month as well, which is um, two boxes per number. So both numbers were for it to be two boxes, which is a total of four boxes. I feel like I explained that so badly. So one, two, three, four is the boxes I need to do. I'm going to finish up this one because of it. Um, and then, yeah, one, two, three. I guess, like, yeah, it takes up the span of two boxes. But, like, that feels cheaty. So I'm, I'm going to count. I'm counting as one because it's one box. But, yes. One, one, two, three, four. It is a little loose on this. I don't think you can tell like I can, but like, can you hear it? I don't know what happened with this stitcher, with this scroll frame, but like, it has come loose somewhere. Like the tension is just holding poorly for whatever reason on this, and I'm, I'm really not sure why. So it's a little loose. Like, I can really, you can kind of tell, like, yeah, I don't know why it's so loose, especially right where my needle minders are, but like, cause, yeah, why is, I don't know what's going on. I think, so I might take it out of this scroll frame and see if I can't figure out what's going on, like if it's the scroll frame itself. Um, like why my bars are loose I'm not sure it's definitely loose this top one is loose and I'm not I'm really not sure what's going on there anyways so that's the point that's the stitchy stuff I gotta wrap this up because my son has a timer that's gonna go off essentially I kind of already talk, talked about it but I just realized you know I have a lot of stuff happening and I'm beating myself up for not stitching and that's just really silly I have a lot of responsibilities um, at home because I think I've, I've mentioned it like my husband works really long hours he works every weekend um, he gets Thursdays <laughs> that was his timer it's okay that was his timer but you know my husband works he works every weekend he has Thursdays and Fridays off but he works Monday Tuesday half a Wednesday like he does get like a weekend he gets Thursdays and Fridays and half of Sunday, Saturday, or half of Wednesdays. Um, and he's he tries to be home by dinner time on the weekends, but you know he works every weekend. And then like Mondays and Tuesdays, he works until eight o'clock at night. You know he works like twelve hour days, so he's gone a lot for like a chunk of for a chunk of time at work because his job is demanding, and. It means that I'm home with my son consistently and it's usually just me and Caden and so I'm you know I'm I'm mom and I'm house cleaner and I'm chef and cook and then I'm chauffeur because I have to get him to soccer practice and basketball practice and his soccer games and facilitate hanging out with friends and and all of this on top of just my normal day-to-day -day. and then you throw in pets <laughs> and my job and so you know I'm you know and I have to sleep eight hours a day <laughs> and I have to also eat my and take care of myself and you know do stuff like that and I'm just trying to be more forgiving with myself because those responsibilities have to come first and then using my downtime for stitching to just enjoy it to relax and that's why like I like that I haven't tried to give myself such crazy high stitch numbers because I wouldn't meet them I would not meet those goals and I didn't for the first half of this year I was setting really stupid high goals for myself and I wasn't making them I wasn't meeting those goals and I was getting really really frustrated and just like and for a little bit I wasn't really stitching because I just got so frustrated with myself and that's really silly so I'm just I've really recently refound my like 
passion for stitching and like what really drew me to this hobby to begin with and I'm embracing that and I'm enjoying that so that's what's going on um what else oh <laughs> there probably will not be a video next week I will be really surprised if I manage to get a video like this like a, a floss tube chatty video um I'll try Monday but no promises only because <laughs> I have family coming and staying for about a week starting next Tuesday, um, Tuesday the 27th. They're going to come on Tuesday and they're going to stay Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, go home Sunday um, because I have to undergo oral surgery um, on the 28th, which is not ideal, which is not fun. It's nothing crazy. I just have to have my wisdom teeth out at 28 years old it's really weird I know it seems like such a weird thing to happen at 28 but um, it is finally time my dentist you know voiced some concerns about what was going on in my mouth with my x-rays um, and so they want them out they want my my wisdom teeth out and so that Wednesday the 28th bright and early I am having oral surgery they do have to put me under general you know, anesthesia and I will have all four of my wisdom teeth removed that day um, and so I'm taking time off work obviously to recover because I don't know what kind of state I will be in afterwards how much pain I'll be in what kind of medication I'll be on all that kind of stuff so I don't think I'm really gonna be doing a lot of stitching so it's really like I want to get all my September goals done and taken care of this week because after Wednesday I can't see me really doing a lot of stitching if I'm in pain or on any sort of pain medication because that just seems like a really bad idea <laughs> um, I should be fine. I'm really not too worried about it, but I did want to give a heads up um, in case there isn't like a video in, for the next little bit, because, like a face-to-face. -face. I have some pre-recorded things that I've scheduled to be released, um, but there's not just like a sit down and chatty floss tube because of that, and I just didn't want anyone to freak out if I disappeared for a little bit, and then the next time you see me, if maybe I'm bruised or swollen or whatever, um, it should be fine. It really should be fine but send me positive vibes send me thoughts um, obviously no one likes the idea of surgery or having to be put under to undergo surgery but um it'll be fine it'll be fine and I am excited that my family is coming my aunt and uncle are going to come and stay with us and that makes me really happy I love them a lot I, I think I've mentioned it they're basically a second set of parents to me and they they kind of helped raise me I lived with them for a little while when I was younger um, and they are both retired now so they are free they are able to just come up you know on a random Tuesday and stay for five to six days because they're you know they're retired and they don't have pets and it's it is such a relief so they're coming to stay that way you know um, because even though, like I said, Bryant has thurs Thursdays and Fridays off, so he would be able to stay home with me Thursdays and Fridays. He does have to work Wednesday. I think he's getting that Wednesday off. Anyways, someone has to take him to school. Someone has to stay there with me. I can't drive. They won't let me drive, so I can't even drive myself to the appointment. You know, so it's just really nice knowing that I'm going to have family to take care of me and to take care of my family during that time. That's all I got. I'm going to go. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Um, happy stitching, happy reading, happy listening, happy watching, happy doing whatever it is that makes you happy doing. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Be easy with your hearts. <laughs>